Hello and welcome back to the Pet Tune Channel. Well, it's been a busy couple of days here, I can tell you. Uh, tooth problems, uh, as you may have seen in the last couple of videos. Uh, one, I had no teeth at all, but I battled through. The other video had my teeth uh, just arrived and uh, had to do a little bit of settling in, which unsettled a few of the thousands of viewers from around the world who watch the Pet Toon channel. Now, those two videos went viral all around the world. Everyone was watching them. Uh, and uh, they were a great success, really. It made me think that uh, perhaps I should do all my shows with no teeth. <laughs> Now these two videos going viral all around the world has led to an influx of letters and comments and uh, as usual I read a couple out. Here's one I've just received and I'm going to read it out for you. It's from Dolly in the Jersey Islands and we all know where the Jersey Islands are don't we? Yes beautiful little spot out there we're very big in the Jersey Islands Almost the entire population, I think there's only 36, and they all watch the Pet Tune channel. Anyway, Dolly goes on to say, Mr. Phillips, your reading of Banjo Patterson's poetry was a, a blessing to my ears. It was riveting. Do you have any plans to do some sort, do some more poetry readings of our classic Australian poems? Your voice is a very, has a very soothing effect on me as I lay alone in my bed late at night. I have sent a couple of photos and there are more should you wish to see more of me. Oh my love, Dolly. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Wow, Dolly. Uh, thanks for the letter. Uh, I've seen the photos you've sent and uh, because this is a... Uh, Shall we say a family show? Uh, those photos are unsuitable for uh, for putting up on the Pet Tune channel. But thanks for your letter. And as a matter of fact, I do intend to, intend to do more poetry readings. A little bit of Shakespeare. Uh, perhaps some Banjo Patterson again. And some Henry Lawson, great Australian poet and writer. So keep tuned. Uh, I don't think it'll be long before I'll be reading some more poetry. Yeah, as I said, we get letters from everywhere. This one, this one from Sanchez in Mexico. Hello to everyone in Mexico over there and thanks for your support for the Pet Tune channel. We're huge in Mexico. Uh, Sanchez says, Senor Johnny, Senor, Senor Johnny, you are a man of the world and I am certain you are a wonderful cook. <laughs> well, that's, that's quite true, Sanchez. Do you have any advice for a bachelor to feed himself properly or make a good impression on the ladies. Yours faithfully, Sanchez in Mexico. P.S. Pet Tune Channel is the best channel on YouTube. Thanks Sanchez. And as a matter of fact, uh, spending a long time being a bachelor myself, uh, uh, I've developed uh, several recipes that are surefire winners for nutrition and uh, impressing any uh, lady you may <laughs> you may have over for dinner. Uh, it's taken me years, uh, but I'm about to show you a couple right now. So take note of these. This is a standard go-to for the romantic bachelor. Doesn't have to be good old 4 and 20 though. Generic brands are bloody beautiful too. Take out two of these rippers and place them on a clean plate. Now, you'll have a microwave oven somewhere, probably on the end of the bench or somewhere over there. Slide them in and onto that spinner thing and slam the door. Have a guess at the time, oh, I reckon about two minutes. When you hear a ping, take the party pies out of the microwave. They smell bloody beautiful. Now take a pen 
and jab a hole in each of them, like so. Now, grab some sort of lettucey stuff and artistically shove it in the pies. Then grab some generic sauce, tomato sauce, the cheap stuff, don't get the expensive stuff, you'll never know the difference. And then make some sort of arty farty pattern. Then, as a final touch, add some walnuts or other such claptrap you got laying around in the cupboard and place it on the plate. Artistically, mind you. And voila! Bloody impressive. Uh, Try to resist uh, eating them on the spot. Has, uh, kept me in good stead for years. A complete success. Uh, here's another one I call my Toast Raphael. First, find your toaster, then get the three week old frozen bread out of the fridge. Get two slices, they'll be like bloody cardboard, and shove them in the top there. Find the button and the stuff on the side and slide that thingy down. While that's cooking, watch TV or whatever. And when you smell smoke, panic and hit that eject button. Now, good bachelor toast is always a bit overcooked. Not to worry. Move to the sink area and look around for a butter knife. You should have at least one Scrape the offending charcoal off one side of the toast. Don't do the other side. She'll never know the difference. Now get some cheap sliced cheese out of the fridge. Take the plastic off the said cheese. Now that is very important. Don't forget to do that. Now I've been told Place you can peel off toast carefully for uh, perhaps on the 15 waiting years toast. or so and require no other nutrition. That's now, nutritious, get some that more of that lettucey stuff and, and place it very artistically the ladies. Uh, on the cheese. I've had some ladies over for dinner. Give them the toast, Raphael. And I've never seen him again. Grab your generic now, sauce doing again. Bachelor cooking has brought back a wealth of memories for me. Uh, and it's my particular an night that I did cook down, uh, both those recipes. And uh, well, the look uh, on the, the toast It was a surefire romantic uh, hit an right thing. there. I won't be doing a pet, to pet tune today. I'm going to try and recapture Rita's face when she saw those two dishes placed in front of her. Here it comes. Oh, good old Rita. Yeah, she's a nun now, I've heard. She's a nun in the Swiss Alps and has been in a monastery for about 30 years, right, which is about 30 years ago that uh, she met me. 
Uh, a bit coincidental that it's beautiful. Uh, now, I'll be doing some more recipes uh, in the next couple of shows, I reckon, uh, because I'm sure they're going to be popular. I'm going to get loads of mail and messages about it from around the world. So stay tuned for those, especially if you're a young bloke who can't bloody cook, I'm here to help you. Uh, it'll make a big difference in your love life, let me assure you. Until then, uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you uh, next time round. Bye.